All right, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to live stream using OBS and YouTube and the live stream settings that I use to have the best live stream while keeping latency to a minimum. Now my current setup is I actually have my camera here. This is my Panasonic G85 camera and I also have a webcam. So as you can see here, here is my Logitech webcam. I also have my desktop that's showing here, uh, but at the same time, I could also show my camera by itself. So this is my Logitech webcam. And whenever I'm using my webcam, I have really no problems with latency at all. Everything is at 1080p, but obviously whenever you're using a camera, the quality of the 1080p is gonna be a lot higher. So that means there's gonna be more processing involved. And so the first thing that you wanna do whenever you are setting up your live stream is to check your internet speeds. And so at least for me, my download speeds are really good. It's normally over 150 megs download, and so I have no problems there. But the biggest one that you wanna look at is your actual upload speed. Now, at least for me, it's anywhere from two to five megabytes, which isn't the greatest, but it works for what I'm using. And later in the video, I'm gonna be showing you the settings that you should set in OBS. But before that, uh, we'll go ahead and get into the YouTube stream to set a very, very important setting when it comes to latency. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my stream. So as you can see here, um, I actually am live streaming right now. Okay. And so uh, what you want to do is go here to your stream settings and make sure under stream latency, you choose ultra low latency. So if you choose that, it'll give you the best options when it comes to reducing the amount of latency. It's a big difference. And then the other thing that I highly recommend you do is actually look at your live stream on this preview and listen to it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and listen to it and listen to it. So and in this I'm case, I'm going to go ahead and listen maybe to like it earlier in and the video where it. I have and my this camera back where, where I have latency to set a very very important setting when it comes to latency so i'm going to go and ahead so and go if over you listen to, to it and there is no latency stream. there then so as you can at see least here in my opinion um, you're good to go there. live streaming and it also gives you a status mine is like an excellent connection but the most important thing i wanted to make sure was that there's no latency uh, when it comes to my video and my voice so that's usually the number one things that you see is either uh, your voice doesn't match with your video, or in some cases, if your internet connection is really slow, then it's going to buffer a lot and the quality is going to be poor. Okay, so those are like the first things that you want to do. Check your internet speeds and make sure in your YouTube stream settings, you have it at ultra low latency and also preview your live stream as you are doing your live stream or maybe before you do your live stream. And now let's go ahead and get into OBS, okay? Because this is gonna be the most important part uh, whenever you're setting up your stream because these settings are definitely important. So we're gonna go here and now we're here in my desktop. And right now I'm currently streaming but i'm also recording this as well so then i can have the high quality version of this particular video so say for example i want to edit it and i can go ahead and edit this as well and then upload that version and so now let's go ahead and get to my settings and so output is where you want to go because obviously if you're streaming then you already have your stream key and so i have here youtube rtmps and there's my primary YouTube ingest server and then my stream key, which you get from your YouTube stream settings. And then here on streaming, for my encoder, I'm using X264. This is software-based, but if you have a better GPU, like an NVIDIA or an AMD, then you could definitely use the GPU and it will really offload a lot of the processing that your computer has to do versus doing it all of it on your computer, okay? And if you do have an NVIDIA, it'll have a different encoder, it'll be NVENC. So I highly recommend you use your GPU if you can. And my rescale output is 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. And then my rate control is CBR, which stands for constant bit rate. There are other options, but this is the one that I recommend you use. And this is the one that most people use. And then for bit rate, this is where your upload speed is really important. Now, right now you can go up past 4,000 kilobytes per second. I think if you set it at 6,000, that's probably like the max for most. Now, if you set it any higher, as far as I know, 
uh, YouTube and other platforms like Twitch might throttle it back down. So I highly recommend that you play with these settings yourself. But at least for me, with the upload speed of 3 to 5 megabytes, 4,000 kilobytes per second does work for me. And then for my keyframe interval, I've set it at 2 seconds. CPU usage here, I have it at very fast. There are other options here. So the faster it is, the lower the overall quality, uh, but the lower the latency. So if you go down here, then you're going to have higher quality, but you could have more latency because it's processing a higher quality uh, video. And then your profile, I have it as main, but you can choose different ones. Baseline is lowest and then there's high. And then there's also tune options as well. I don't use any of these, but you could definitely play around with it, especially things like fast decode or zero latency. And so those are my streaming settings. For recording, I have it at MP4. And for my audio, I have it at 160 for my bit rate. And then down here for my audio, I have it at 48 kilohertz. You could definitely increase that if you want. And then um, I have different audio sources so for me i use my desktop audio and but i also use my microphone which i have right here next to me and here is very important your video so my base canvas is 2560 by 1440 which is 2k that is my screen resolution but the most important thing is your output resolution so for me i have it set at 1920 by 1080. now if you didn't want to go higher you can but that really depends on how powerful your machine is and also your internet speed. So I think for most people, they probably don't want to go past 1080p unless your hardware and your internet can handle that. And then for my downscale filter, I need, uh, I'm using Bicubic sharpening scaling at 16 samples. Now there is a version or there is an option that is higher than that below it with 32 samples but i use this one and then for my common frames per second i have at 30 frames per second and then another thing that you could do is if you wanted to record the audio from your desktop you could record that as well so let me show you an example um, i could go back to my uh, camera right here set up your business easily and legally with incredibly affordable rakes at Inkfile. Join more than 500,000 businesses and launch your business today. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play you uh, some audio from my desktop, basically testing my connection. And you're going to hear that audio as well. So I'm going to go ahead and listen to it. Up past 4,000 kilobytes per second. I think See, if you set it at 6,000, that's probably yep. like the max and for most. You now, should be you able to hear that. As far uh, as and I, I can know, actually see uh, it in YouTube OBS and other platforms as well. Like Twitch might throttle then it back down. Go ahead and turn so that I highly off. recommend that you play with these. So hopefully you heard that. <laughs> so I was talking as the audio was playing. So that's another way that you could actually set up your streams where you could record the audio as well. So that is my video on how I set up a live stream using YouTube and OBS and as you could see I was actually doing this live so there was definitely some mistakes there but at the same time I'm also recording this video on my desktop so if I wanted to I could just go ahead and edit that and use that instead of my live stream which is going to be at a lower quality whenever you download from YouTube however you can download the original but it just takes a lot of steps if you wanted to see how to do that I'll leave that in the description area below and I'll also leave videos of how I do this multi-camera setup and also my entire OBS tutorial playlist as well so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do live streams be sure to leave that in the comments area below and as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe and I'll see you on another video and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.